Hey everybody, this is Tom Selleck, and this pre-calculus lesson is uh, applying some trig functions. So a little bit of word problems happening in here. Oh boy. Okay, so let's take care of the board problem. Use the, uh, the unit circle to find each value. Okay, and then uh, we'll take care of the rest as we go, go along. Okay, the unit circle, there it is right there. These are the ordered pairs. This is 1, 0. This is 0, 1. This is negative 1, 0, and 0, negative 1. Remember, cosine, sine. Remember, this is x and y, and cosine comes before sine in the alphabet. C comes before s in the alphabet, just like x comes before y. So if everything's in alphabetical order, you guys. This is always cosine, comma, sine, like x is before y. So cosine, sine, cosine, sine, cosine, sine. So cosine of negative 180 is over here, so it's negative 1. Tangent of 45 is right there. So the tangent is going to be, if I drew this straight down right there, it would be uh, opposite over hypotenuse, so root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2, and you put that over each other, it equals 1 right there. And, and you're supposed to memorize uh, that chart I gave you in section, I think it was 5-1, uh, you guys. And if you haven't yet, um, get you're going to need to, you guys. It's just going to drag you down later on as we move along. Everything deals with uh, uh, that chart that you're supposed to memorize about the unit circle. About 30, 60, 90s, and 45s, the sine, cosines, tangents of all those, and the reciprocals, secants, cosecants. And cotangents. Okay, here we go. So uh, uh, 150 is over here. So 150, the reference angle is 30. So um, remember that's one. So the the shorter legs root two or one half and negative uh, root three over two. So uh, find the six trigs. Okay, so sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. Okay, there's my right triangle right there, and there's my six trig figures right there. Okay, uh, and then. Find the values of the six trig functions with the angle at 6, negative 5. So over 6, down 5. So use the Pythagorean theorem right there. You find out this is the square root of 61 because 36 squared plus 25 squared equals uh, x squared. So x is equal to the square root of 61 right there. Okay, so then I can do my sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And there's the answers right there. Okay, my six trig figures right there. All right, so let's apply a uh, trig function. So if p equals 35 and r is 14, uh, find q, okay? So that's going to get me a cosine ratio, okay? So I get adjacent over hypotenuse because I'm looking for this guy right here, and you get about 11.5, okay? You did that in geometry, and you're doing it again. So this time if j is uh, 50 and small j, which is over here, is 12, remember small j is always opposite big j. Small g is always opposite big g. Small r is always opposite big r. So find angle R. So this one's going to be a sine ratio, opposite hypotenuse. So this is a sine ratio. Should get about 15.7. Okay, this is a example 3 in our text on page 300. A regular pentagon, five sides is pentagon, is inscribed in a circle with diameter 8.34 centimeters. So the apothem of the regular polygon is the measure of a line segment from the center of the polygon to the midpoints of one of its sides. They want us to find the apothem. Okay, so here's this figure. Here's my pentagon inscribed right there. The apothem is this guy. It goes perpendicularly to one of the sides, and it bisects this side because it's regular right there. Okay, this 4.17 came from the diameter. It said the diameter, the whole diameter is 8.34, so the radius is going to be half of that, 4.17. Okay? So I can get this little angle theta right here. I know this angle is one-fifth of 360. So half of that's going to be one-tenth of 360. So this little dude is going to be 36 degrees. So now I have 36 degrees. I have adjacent side. I have the hypotenuse. I'm going to use cosine, cosine ratio to get uh, uh, that side right there. So cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So I get the apothem to be about 3.37 centimeters. Okay, so angles of depressions and elevations. Here's a picture. Angle of depression is if you're up on top and you're looking down at an object, okay? The angle of depression, because these guys are called alternate interior angles from geometry, the angle of depression is the exact same as the angle of elevation right there. Okay, so it just depends on what they're given here. So here's example four on page 301. On May 18, 1980, Mount St. Helens, a volcano in Washington, erupted. I remember that, you guys. Ashes, we lived here in Sacramento. Ashes came all the way down uh, from Mount St. Helens, which is, you know, several hundred miles away. It came down, and, and our skies turned gray because of all the ashes when it erupted. Anyways, uh, it erupted with such force that the top of the mountain was blown off. To determine the new height of the summit, 
of Mount St. Helens, a surveyor measured the angle of elevation from the top of a volcano. So here he is out here, measures at 37 degrees, 46 minutes. So I'm going to change that 46 minutes to degrees. So I'm going to multiply or divide that by 60 to get my degrees. The surveyor then moved up 1,000 feet. Whoops, I didn't want to do that. So the surveyor then moved up 1,000 feet. So there he is, 1,000 feet right there. And he measured a new angle of elevation to be 40 degrees, 30 minutes. Okay, so determine the height of the Mount St. Helens. So check this out. We're going to do uh, set up a right triangle right there. And I'm going to do the tangent ratio. The tangent of this angle equals the opposite over the adjacent. The adjacent is 1,000 plus x. Okay, so the tangent... <coughs> Excuse me. The 37 degrees 46 minutes is opposite over adjacent. Okay, I'm going to convert uh, 37 46. The 46 is 0 0.77 degrees. So the tangent of points uh, 37.77 equals opposite over adjacent. So I got here's my tangent of that, and I multiply both sides by that. So I get the height is equal to the 0.775. Because uh, the tangent of 37.77 is 0.775 multiplied by 1,000 plus x, and that equals the height right there. Now, I don't know what to do with that yet, so I'm going to use the other right triangle and use the tangent of this. Now, 30 minutes is 0.5 of a degree, so tangent of 40.5 degrees is opposite over adjacent, so opposite over adjacent. And then the tangent of 40.5 is 0.854 equals h. Now this equals h, this equals h, so that means this side equals this side right here. So I'm going to go ahead and set those sides <coughs> excuse me, equal to each other. I'm going to subtract 0.775x and I get 0.079x equals 775. So I get x to be about uh, 9810. So I'm going to plug in x right here. You can plug it in right there also. I'm going to plug in x right there to get the height because I'm looking for the height right there. So I get the height to be about 8,375 feet. Now depending on how far you rounded and stuff when you did your tangent of that right there, um, it's, going to, uh, it's going to influence that just a little bit. So it's almost 84,000 feet, you guys. So uh, in fact, I heard it lost about 4,000 feet from when that happened right there. All right, oops, we're not going to do that right there. Okay, that's the end.